Don't tell anybody, but today I'm gonna to share with you the secret to real estate success. You know, one of the most consistent questions I get asked as I'm talking to agents all the time is, is what's the silver bullet? What is it that top producers do that's different from anybody else? I have to be honest with you, there's no such thing as a secret to real estate success. There's a system to success. And the top producers have a systematic approach to their business that I'm gonna share with you today. The first is this, you've gotta have a system in place that is consistently generating new leads. What is it that you're doing to add new people into your database? Are you sitting open houses? Are you buying leads online? Are you farming neighborhoods? Are you sending out flyers of just sold, just listed? The systematic plan that generates people having conversations. When you get to a place where you've got a systematic plan to add new leads into your business, now you've got the start of a business because we know that you have to have fresh wood, so to speak, to be on a fire to keep the fire going. Where's your fresh wood, so to speak, coming from? You see, when you have these legs on a chair, so to speak, of where this business is gonna come from, where these new leads are gonna come from, now your, begins, your business begins to have a flow to it. It begins to have some consistency to it. The second place is to have a systematic nurturing program for those leads that you're adding into your database. What is it that you're doing on a consistent basis to make sure that you stay top of mind when the opportunity comes for them to do business with you or when the opportunity comes for them to refer business to you? Are you setting them up in MLS or on your database or with what we provide, Boomtown, where they're receiving updates on a weekly, monthly, even daily in some cases, depending on how hot they are, properties that are coming on the market that they're looking to have information about. Maybe it's if they're an owner, homes that have sold, gone pending, are coming on the market in their neighborhood or that have sold that gives them an idea of what their value is. You see, when you get consistent with your nurturing of these leads, all of a sudden now, when the time comes right, you're the first person they think of. The third part of the process and the system that you need to have in place is have trackable conversion metrics. And that's a lot of big words, but let me tell you what it means. It, what it really means is, is do you know how many calls and how many conversations you have that generate appointments? Do you know how many appointments you have to go on that generate closings or they generate contracts or they generate listings. You see, when you get to a place where you understand that 50 conversations is pretty much what you can expect to have one real estate transaction, and that's in the entire business. Odds are if you're watching this and you're, in, and you're investing in your business, you're probably a little better than that. But let's use the number 50 conversations. Now it becomes very systematic. Okay, we know we have this number of leads that are systematically coming into our system. We know that we're nurturing these folks in that way. How are we following up with them? We know that if we have 50 conversations, we're gonna get one transaction. If we wanna have two transactions a month, for instance, we know we gotta have 100, 100 conversations in a month. Basically 25 a week if we're working five days a week, which breaks down to five per day. It's not that bad when you start breaking this down. But are you consistently doing those things? Do you know what your numbers are? If you begin to track your conversations, you begin to track your appointments, you can begin to track the number of transactions you bring in on one, for one month, all of a sudden these numbers are gonna start to make sense to you. Now you begin to understand the process. You understand that I need to make my calls today because the five calls I make today are gonna to be that much closer to the transaction. You see, once you understand your metrics and you understand the numbers, now it's systematic. Now we're feeding new leads in, we're nurturing those leads, and now now we're at a place where we've got conversion numbers where we know that if we just trust the process and take the action, we'll do that. That brings us to the fourth and final step. Take massive action. Listen, you've got, we just talked about three different parts of this. We talked about adding leads, we talked about nurturing leads, and we talked about converting leads. If there's one of these three areas that is weak in your business, now's the time to build a systematic approach to that in your business. I know, I know people that can buy a thousand leads a week, but they can't convert anybody. It's a waste. You have to have all the systems working together. So what are you doing in each of these systems to do this? If you have a weakness, find that weakness and go ahead and start adding systematic plans in those areas and your business can't help but grow. Hope this is helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.